New sea-based eating plan could seriously benefit your health, according to a new study from the JAMA Network. It's called the Atlantic Diet, and many doctors call it a cousin to the Mediterranean diet. All right, so it is traditional. This doesn't like to work for me, but it's traditional to northern Portugal and northwest Spain, and it has plenty of cod, red meat, pork, dairy, fresh veggies, and potatoes. The diet is known to incorporate a lot of whole grain breads, vegetable soups, and even moderate wine conception. All right, it is beneficial for lowering blood pressure, blood sugar, belly fat, and diabetes risks. ABC's Dr. Darian Sutton says, like the Mediterranean diet, it avoids most processed foods. Overall, there's not really that much of a difference between the two. My thing is, is I'm not really that big on diets, but if you can sustain it, I say go for it. There are some things that I would back away though within this Atlantic diet. Number Such one, as? we know red meat can be harmful for our colon, yeah. specifically increasing our risk of colon cancer. So I would definitely keep that moderate. But Michael, to answer your question, if I had to choose between either or, there's a lot more research on the Mediterranean diet in terms of cardiovascular risk factors. But if you think that this diet fits you, there can still be tremendous benefit. All right, as Dr. Sutton suggests, the Mediterranean diet may be a safer option because it involves less red meat. That particular diet prioritizes proteins like things like lentils, beans, and chickpeas, and that over meats.